Sometimes it's like deja vu. Hello everybody, how you doing? It's the car crazy guy here from Santa Clarita. And like I said in the introduction, it's like deja vu all over again. This time I decided to uh, purchase another car. And the reason why I bought it is kind of wanted something inexpensive as a daily. I really don't want to cruise this around as my daily. I'm really, really picky and around here, a lot of drivers are nuts. And uh, when you park your car, a lot of drivers, not a lot, but some are just uh, dishonest. They back into your car and take off. So regardless, I really wanted something inexpensive to cruise around in. So I picked up this 2018 Chevy Cruze. This car is uh, almost like the one I had before. Uh, the other one I had before, the main differences were it was an RS packaged car. So it had the lower side sills that extended and they were of a urethane nature. Here it's just, it's just steel. And it had a spoiler, no spoiler here at all. Um, the other one had fog lights and it had a little splitter in the front, as you can see. We have none of that here. Instead, you get this little black trim piece. No spoiler at all, or splitter, I should say. Headlights are the same. These are actually a projector style. I did have, uh, as an option, and this was already on the car, the factory black bow ties, front and rear. That's option number one. And I think this is dealer installed. So as you can see, you look right there, right in the corner down there, you can see there's a little black dots because some knucklehead probably chipped the paint trying to take the other one off. He didn't realize that all you need to use is a fishing string, a heat gun, and a little gentle persuasion. Uh, the second option I have is the sun and sound package. So you get, in this case, you get a sunroof. You also get a different instrument cluster. In this particular case, turn it on. That's on. My first, oh, there we go. Let's get rid of that annoying sound here and get rid of the music. But uh, let's start it up and I'll show you. In this case, you get the color instrument uh, center cluster. Let's see if we can zoom in on some things. And I bought this in Torrance on my trip home to Santa Clarita. I averaged 39.9, which is very impressive. You can also go and there's a, some other tabs like you've got audio. As well as phone navigation, which I don't have because this car does not have navigation, but it does come with that really nice eight inch screen. So with the eight inch screen, you get, I, I guess it looks different. The 2019s have a new system. So obviously on a 2018, I, I didn't get that because uh, the money was on the 2018s. So in this particular case, you've got the audio, the phone projection, which is your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You have the OnStar Nav settings, text, OnStar, you swipe over and you got some apps from Chevrolet. Do we have another app? I guess we do have a few more. Dash radio is pretty cool. And in this car, it has the uh, dark slash light atmosphere color. You can see it's kind of a, hard to tell, but it's kind of a, I don't know, chocolatey brown, light chocolatey, and the seats are more of a lighter, tan color you can see here you got some uh, that atmosphere oh it also does of course with the sun and sound you get some lighted vanity vanity mirrors i know wow big deal the 
This one also has the convenience package, which gives you the push, push button start right there. Uh, and you also get the heated seats. And they're like three stage heated, obviously no cool seats. Um, you also have a power seat function. And you'll notice right here, I think this is a defect, that little shiny spot. I think it's when plastic bends, it turns white. So I'm gonna replace that. At least get them to replace it. Uh, that part is like 15 bucks. I'm busy, I don't have time. So I think I just may just do it myself. So I've got one on order actually. And from what I understand, it's just a couple of screws and it just slides out and you just replace the, uh, the switch panel back into it. Should be easy to do, not a big deal. One thing I liked about these cars are you have a lot of uh, rear space. Now, why is my, my key not working? All right, let's try this again. Maybe because the door is open, perhaps. And what this one thing I like about the Cruise is great rear seat legroom. Now I'm about 5'9", and you can see when I sit behind myself, pretty good room. Now, I just bought this couple days ago but I bought the the, the uh, cargo net because my other one had it and it was really handy so with this you just have to pop there's a little push pin pull that out then you have to remove this guy right here one screw down there then you have to measure an inch over at the top of that cutout which is underneath here there's a metal cutout you drill a hole one inch away quarter inch hole then you thread these dudes right back in here. And of course you can see how I've got it mounted. I also have an order, WeatherTech floor mats and a trunk mat, which uh, is gonna fit right nicely in here because this looks like cheap cardboard to me. I also have the WeatherTech floor mats will be in black because gray doesn't really match this interior. And we will pop the hood. And this is one of those confusing ones because I think you have to pull it like this. And I'm thinking maybe you go like this, rotate it this way, but you don't. All right. Now, since this car has no hood struts, it's gonna be one of those, I gotta put the, the camera down and open it up and I'll show you. And this is the same engine, has the same transmission, uh, 1.4 liter turbo Ecotec four cylinder. It makes 153 horsepower and 177 foot pounds of torque. And it's mated to the same six speed automatic. And if I'm not mistaken, there is the little snail right there with, with its shield. And I guess that's the manifold sensor, O2 sensor air box that's probably the uh, the uh, engine control module fuse block I'm guessing and there's some fluids there it's a tidy little package now on order I also have some diode dynamics LED headlight bulbs 9005 Although, oddly enough, the manual calls for a 9012. So we'll find out when they come. But a lot of people who have the same car with the same headlamp module have said 9005 is what they've used. So the uh, headlights look very dingy on this. And I'm looking forward to getting rid of them. So we'll see what, how that works out. Because I'll show you. Here's the driver's side. And you can see here is the cap right there. And as you can see, it's hard to get your hand in there. And... You know, if this stupid thing was out of the way, it'd be a lot easier. Although, you can remove this piece. From my understanding, you can see right down there, it just snaps out and it just lifts straight up. So this piece here just comes up. And the other side, I think you have, well, I've seen other people do this, but they take this tube off, which just comes off really fairly easy. And then here's your cap. And to be honest with you, I don't know if the light is going to fit behind the cap, but I think the bulb is pretty small. It doesn't stick out a lot. It's the um, ballast that you have to worry about. So if there's enough room inside the housing inside here, 
then you can get that ballast in there and it's going to probably be tight and uh, on my Colorado this cap is a kind of a pain to get back in place so we'll see what happens uh, I did change out the uh, trunk light and I just put an LED in there that was pretty easy I was gonna do the interior lighting but uh, didn't want to mess anything up and I can't get the plastic cover off on the uh, front or the rear but it just takes three bulbs in the front one in the rear it looks pretty easy to do if you can get the cover off it's it's just minutes literally um, this particular car I got at Martin Chevrolet uh, that's down in Torrance great dealership to work with completely transparent no games found them on I think it was Auto Trader or cars.com I can't remember I think it was Auto Trader I was doing my shopping there uh, that that particular dealership had three cars and when you went to their website it showed 10,000 off MSRP and I thought well that seems like an awful lot but there is one rebate unfortunately I didn't qualify for and that's if I leased a GM vehicle then I would get the whole 10,000 now since I clicked on one of their leads where you it says uh, enter your name and phone number and we'll contact you we'll give you an extra 250 uh, they did that as well so basically I on this car, I got $8,250. There is a $4,500 factory rebate, $6,500 if you lease a GM vehicle. Uh, the other discount was from the dealership. It was $3,500 plus their $250 for clicking on their lead, so $3,750. So if you do the math, 21 or don't no, 25, 185 minus 8250, and you'll get the magic number for what I paid for this. So it was somewhere around 16 9 ish It was a pretty good deal. So rather than buy a used car, which was what I was looking at, my friend was selling his Fusion 2010. It's got 200,000 miles on it. And to be honest with you, I think the transmission has probably uh, gone its way out. But uh, I just figured, you know what, I'll just, I'll just buy something new. So uh, the license plate lights are LED. I don't think I can show that to you without actually turning the car on, but let's see if it turns on if you hit the button. Guess not. But these these lights are LED. There's your backup camera. Pretty cavernous trunk. This was easy to install. This is a 15 minute installation. Just drilling the one hole there. Came out perfect. Always helps when you have the right tools. And then, of course, I stuck on my signature carbon fiber license plate frames, which I have had for years and have moved them from car to car. And on this particular car, didn't have really any problems with it. I've always checked the usual suspected areas, which are the gaps between here all the way up there make sure there's no chipping paint because I've even seen Corvettes where you have chipping paints in there and in there and uh, you know how it's a mess to fix that stuff on that car I've got paint protection film so they'd have to remove it and reinstall it and then of course the installer I don't work with anymore I'd have to find somebody new It'd be a nightmare so the only problem I had it wasn't even a problem it was right here and let me get that spot there it is right there the paint was a little flaky right on the inside of the uh, wheel well that's where the line is located it's uh, on the inside lip and there's a little rough spot right about there where my finger is sitting but the nothing wrong with the bumper no chipping nothing and that was pretty much it other than that little interior blemish <clears throat> I should have that worked out fairly quickly but it's a pretty efficient car it's pretty roomy it's pretty comfortable and if I decide to add navigation there is an io6 module and that resides on the passenger side right on the kick panel which would be the other side but it would be right about here and you just replace that module plug and play and you have to add a GPS antenna so I don't know if it's worth it. It's a thousand dollars, to be honest with you. The only time you'd ever need it is if you didn't have a signal to your cell phone, so CarPlay or Android Auto would not operate. Other than that, it's it's completely useless. So, 
Very nice car. Glad I got the, I was gonna buy the one that only had the convenience package and uh, it had a little issue with the bumper uh, where the two parts meet together, fender, bumper, and it had a little black spot and I'm thinking that's like the beginnings of another issue for me. Stay away from that one. This was about, I think it was like, I don't know, it was just the option of the uh, Sun and Sound package and the black bow tie. It wasn't that much more, sixteen, seventeen hundred dollars $1,700. So I went with this one. So they were both uh, white. The other one they had that was, uh, this had the same discounting was a diesel. And I didn't want the diesel. And that one was around 27 sticker, 27 and change. And I'd, I'd just rather go with the gas. So that's what I did. So got a gas model, 2018 Cruise LT, six-speed automatic, sun and sound package, convenience package, and black bow tie. And, of course, they charge you money for the front license plate frame or mount bracket, $40, which is absolutely ridiculous because California, it's mandatory. But you won't see any of those on my other cars. Don't tell anybody. So, all right. Um... When I get those bulbs and the mats, I'll make another video. And I plan on also, I have the overlays. If they do fit, I'm going to black this bow tie out because I'm not a fan of uh, yellow bow ties. Same thing with the wheels. Although I don't think they make a sticker for that, it's probably going to be a new cap. I just need to find a cap or either that or maybe at some point I may just decide to replace these wheels and see if I can find some takeoffs, 17 Preferably 18. I don't really want to do uh, something that kind of hurts the gas mileage. And I know the larger sizes you go, there's compromises with that. It might affect the acceleration because when you have a larger wheel and tire, you've got more rolling mass, and that equates to worse uh, fuel mileage and uh, maybe a slightly loss in acceleration, like a slight loss maybe. But I um, wanted some mud guards, but you have to drill in the front. I don't really want to drill. Of course, when you drill, you have bare metal. Possibly that induces or introduces a, a you know, potential rust issue. Although in California, where I live, we really don't have, uh, you know, we don't have those kind of uh, weather conditions. So it's not, not a big deal, really. But uh, anyways, I will uh, get back to you on the next one. Car Crazy Guy here from Santa Clarita. And by the way, this is filmed on my new GoPro 7 Hero Black Edition. So tell me what you think, and I'll see you in the next one. Take her easy. After filming this video, I noticed that crease right above the rear wheel arch. I'm pretty sure it can be removed with paintless dent removal. Got a call into my guy. Hopefully he gets back to me soon. He must be on vacation because I haven't heard from him. Well, once I get everything taken care of, including all the uh, simple modifications, I'll get back to you with another video. You guys take her easy. Car Crazy Guy here from Santa Clarita, and we'll see you on the next one.